Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a little known technique that can be used to save people potentially thousands of dollars a year on their prescription drug costs. It's called the tier exception. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to show you a real world example of where we're able to reduce someone's total drug spend by more than $4,000 a year using this technique. As many of you know, I have a background working in the insurance industry, and I have personally reviewed thousands of these things. So you're going to be hearing from an expert how these work and where you can use these to save you a lot of money. A tier exception in principle is very simple to understand. Most insurance companies have a tiered formulary where they will assign every drug a tier, and each tier has a different price associated with it. Typically, they'll have five tiers. Tier one will be the least expensive drugs, typically ranging in copay from zero to $10. Tier two, the next, next least expensive, and that will generally be between 10 and $20. Tier three, about 30 to $50. Tier four, usually about $100 to a percentage of the price of the drug, generally ranging from 30 to 50%. And lastly is the specialty tier. Specialty tier is often a smaller percentage compared to tier four, but the drugs are usually a lot more expensive in those tiers, normally about $1,000 a month or more. So what a tier exception request is, is uh, to put it simply, it's a tier lowering request. So if you have a tier three drug and it's $47 a month, you can request that that copay tier be lowered to a tier one. So if you had a $47 a month copay, like in this example on a tier three and a tier exception request was granted to a tier one, the copay would go from $47 a month to $0 a month. It's pretty obvious what the benefits of a tier exception are. You're paying less in copay, but are there more benefits than just lowering your copay? The answer is yes. Uh, there are two, actually three benefits, but the last one is a little bit too complicated to discuss and it has to do, it has to do with when you're taking multiple drugs. So we'll just go over the two. Uh, it can help you with your deductible. Some insurance plans have a policy where certain tiers, generally the first and second tiers, don't have a deductible that applies. And that's how a lot of people discover that they have a deductible. They may have been taking less expensive drugs and had no deductible paying, you know, zero to ten dollars. All of a sudden they get prescribed the new drug and they have to pay four hundred dollars because they have a deductible they didn't know because this drug is in a tier three. So when you do a tier exception and you have one of these plans that certain tiers you don't have to pay the deductible, then if you lower it to one of those tiers where you don't have to pay the deductible, now you don't have to pay the deductible. So you could easily get a, a price drop from $400 because you have a deductible to $0 because it's a tier that does not have a deductible. The deductible does not apply. So you can use it as a technique to avoid paying the deductible. You can also use it as a technique to avoid paying the coverage gap. And for very similar reasons, you may have noticed that for some drugs, when you go into the coverage gap or the donut hole, as some people call it, the drug prices go way up generally from, let's say you're on a tier three from $47 to now all of a sudden it's $150, $170 a month. But some other drugs, uh, copay will remain the same. And the reason is it's very similar to the deductible. Some plans have something called extra gap coverage. And what that means is for certain tiers, typically one or two, the copay remains the same through the coverage gap or through the donut hole. So with a tier exception, exactly the same thing can be done as with the deductible. If you lower it from a high tier to a tier where it's covered by the extra gap coverage, now you don't have to pay the coverage gap anymore, or you would just pay the normal copay for that tier, which is normally a very low copay. Now that we know what tier exceptions are and how they can help you save money, the next logical step is, well, how do we go about requesting one of these tier exceptions? It's a two-step process. Uh, the first step is to create a request through the insurance. That could be done by a few different people. It could be done by your doctor's office. It could, we could help you at Sustain Meds create the request, or you could do it yourself. Now, one thing I would say about uh, doing it yourself 
or even through the doctor's offices, you want to make sure that whoever is doing it really knows what they are doing. Tier exceptions, there was a study done, and what that study found was there was a denial rate of in excess of somewhere around 90%. So it's very easy to, to get denied because there are a lot of nuances to the request. And unless a person understands those different nuances, it can be denied when really it shouldn't have been. So creating the request for the insurance. And then the second step would be submitting the documentation to the insurance. Again, it can be done by your insurance company. It can be done by you, or we could help you at sustained meds. And what we would be doing here is submitting documentation to them as far as why you need this specific drug and basically making an argument that the lower cost drugs, either you've already tried them or they would not be as effective for your condition because it wouldn't be as good or it might, might potentially have a side effect for you. Assuming all of that's taken care of, the request should be granted and then you will be good until the end of the calendar year. Now I'm going to show you a real world example of how we save someone thousands of dollars on their prescriptions using this one technique. In fact, off a single drug. Onto the example. So we had a lady that filled out our online contact form and what she was taking was a budesonide three milligram capsule three times a day. So 90 a month and her copay was $480 a month. It was a tier four medication. The different tiers that we showed you on the example, I'll show them here really quick. That was from her plan. So she's got a 50% copay on a tier four drug and that copay equaled $480. Not only that, but after she goes into the coverage gap, her copay actually goes down, but it's still very expensive. So it goes from 50 to 25%, which is $240. So uh, she's spending about four or $5,000 a year, depending on when you start taking the drug in the middle of the year. And what do you think we did here? Well, we used our new favorite technique that we learned about, the tier exception. So we got it lowered from a tier four to a tier one. We helped her with the request. We gathered all the documents. We submitted it, got it lowered from a four to a one. So that lowered the copay from $480 a month to $0 a month. Not only that, but because she had extra gap coverage, when it came time to go into the coverage gap, it didn't go up to $240. If she didn't have that extra gap coverage, it would go to 240. But since she had the extra gap coverage, it stayed at zero and it was zero for the whole year. So we saved this lady thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. And she had already had trouble with this drug before. She had been paying, she had the same insurance. She was paying the year before a similar amount. So she was absolutely ecstatic in the amount that we were able to save her. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something about tier exceptions. It's one of the many methods that you can use to reduce prices. Again, if you or anyone else is interested in contacting us at Sustain Meds to try to get your prices down, we offer a no-cost consultation. So just uh, give us a call and we'll see what we can do. 